So today, guys, I thought I would share with you something I did years ago with this uh, geared ball head from Manfrotto, Bogan, and it is their number 410. And um, what I wanted was something that when I traveled, and I did this way back in uh, for the 2001 eclipse in... Uh, uh, Africa when I went to Lusaka Zambia Africa because prior to that I had some other other ways of taking my uh, equipment and one of the things was I wanted a geared head so that I could do photography and it would be easy obviously to make your alt as adjustments and instead of being jerky with the tripod and so I came up with a way, real simple, and I thought I would share this, like I said. Uh, when you're traveling, I wanted everything in my camera bag. My tripod, I even modified that. That might be for another video. I took a full-length tripod and modified it. Prior to that, I had made a custom case that I took on the airlines um, for my tripods. But So, I thought to myself, I wanted everything in there. My camera bodies, my lenses and the tripod head and the tripod so when we look at this it's bulky it's big and bulky so i thought what if i can divide this thing in half i could take the two pieces now and i could situate them throughout the camera bag using donkey wraps to wrap this up so that it wouldn't do any damage to your equipment and uh i would get the largest camera bag available at that time because things changed, so I always made sure prior to the trip I had the largest camera bag that was carry-on. So let me show you what I came up with. But first, I thought it'd be interesting to share with you, prior to that, my first Eclipse in 79, I actually used a large tripod bag, uh, then with a bunch of towels around it. And then in 1991, um, I did the same thing. And then for Aruba... I, um, actually, I think I may have made this thing for Aruba, too. Yes, I think I did make this for Aruba. And that was the last time I used this. But you can see that in the, you got the handle, and there's a tag with my name and address, all the information. And this is 6-inch sewer pipe. So I rigged this up. That cap unscrews. Got this Stanley latch. And I even put a regular padlock on here that was key to like to my home. It didn't have one of those, um, uh, all those locks that they can get into, the TSA can get into. It was just a regular, like I said, heavy-duty padlock. Put that on there and uh, put a little padding in here. And then I stuck my tripod in there. And uh, it worked out really good. But like I said, I got to thinking... It'd be best not to have things separated because when push comes to shove, because I know when I went to Africa, we got our equipment. It was like eight, nine days later. It was still back in the United States. So I had everything with me, um, with the tripod and everything. I even had a, um, a vest on so that I put extra underwear in, toothpaste and stuff that I, I would know I had to have. I did have to buy some extra clothes in Africa but other than that I had my most essential things that I would need and so that's what led me to what I'm going to show you trying to get everything in one camera bag so that if something is lost your carry-on will have everything you're going to need so back at it so I know that I knew that this had to be assembled and so for the heck of it, I pulled a cover off here, and lo and behold, you see that they do have it bolted. So that this mechanism, and I've taken it apart before to put a little grease in there. So you take that off with an Allen wrench. This comes apart. Everything, the mechanisms are in here. So now we get to what I did. I wanted to separate this portion, which would be your altitude, And, well, it depends how you're using it. If you're turning it certain ways, I've, I've had it either way. But, so, this turns in this direction. And, 
I dare say you could probably do this with any manufacturer's um, uh, geared head. So I pulled that cover off and we had the same setup that we have down here. And I thought all I've got to do is make my own uh, tool per se all built in to the bolt that I didn't have to take any tools with me. Everything would be uh, available to me in the camera bag with the least amount of extra equipment. So I'll show you what I did here. So as you can see, we have this, we'll call it a knob that I created by brazing a short piece of quarter inch rod to it, to this uh, bolt. Then we have an oversized stainless steel washer that goes up against this plate here. And then inside here, you see what we have. And for this ball head, the thread is a 6 millimeter by 1.0 pitch by 30 millimeters long. And as you can see, I just brazed to create a T-handle. So now you've got no tools required. Then it's just a matter of pulling the piece apart just like that. So now, instead of one big bulky piece, you've got two smaller pieces. And like I said, I used Domke wraps to go around them. And then another thing I did, I'm real picky, is I would make a diagram of my camera bag with all the pockets. And I would put, I had everything figured out ahead of time, where everything went. What went in first, how the cameras, I always would take two camera bags. I would have a 500 millimeter Nikkor uh, reflex lens with the TC14B 1.4 time teleconverter giving me 700 millimeters of focal length which was ideal uh, to show the uh, uh, corona and everything, the outer corona and so then I would just wrap these so nothing was damaged and then just put them and so now you have basically everything in your camera bay that you that's required I may do a video showing how I uh, made my uh, tripod but today you can get tripods that are so small so it really doesn't matter but this is that's why I thought I'd show you this and then once you get back or once you get to your destination and all you've got to do is put this back on and basically just put it all together and everything goes together in reverse and again the beauty of this is there we go, get it started. The beauty of this is there's no, let me get that started. Yeah, it's hard to do this behind a camera. Kind of looking over the camera. Well, you know what I'm, all right, I'm going to prove myself wrong here. There it is, must have been on an angle. So basically, you need no tools. And you've given yourself the confidence that with your carry-on, all your main equipment you're going to need will not get lost or damaged because it's going to be right with you. So hopefully this video helps you.